I've had requests from people, and it's almost weekly. People ask, how do I really pray? And for those that are Christians, I always tell them, well, there's, there's a perfect prayer in the Bible, Heavenly Father, and all these things. But people are really looking for something a little more substantial. How do you really pray? What's the science behind it? What's, what's the intentions? When you pray to God, don't be a beggar. Don't treat God as Santa Claus. Pray to God in praise and love. If you have a problem in your life, trust that God knows it. You don't have to tell God you got a problem. He knows it already. Also trust that what you've been given in life, whether it's a disease, unemployment, divorce, good things, bad things, whatever you label them, they're all coming to you for a reason, a given reason. And if you look at them all as gifts, then you don't go to God and say, I, I don't want this gift, take it away. So if you're dealing with unemployment or you're dealing with divorce, then what you really need when you go to God is to send love to others, send love to yourself, to love God, to be grateful for all the things in your life. What, you, what I do, and I suggest others do, is I go to God and I say, don't take away the problem. I'll learn something from that. But give me the strength I need. Give me the wisdom I need. Give me the tools I need. Give me the people in my life that will help me. In other words, make me an instrument of thy peace. Use me and let me solve the problem myself. But don't take away the problem. So when you pray to God, don't go as a beggar.